What do Hannibal's elephants and this RSQ3 have in common, ponders Matis? Not just the color, trekking across the Alps. Audi organized a special tour to test the mountain credentials of its high-performance compact SUV. From Klagenfurt, Austria to Monaco and back, Matis was desperate to ride along for at least a short section of the expedition. Let's see how the car does on those tough Alpine passes. The RS badge, from the German for racing sport, adorns Audi's highest performance models. The lowdown on the souped-up Q3, five cylinders, a two and a half liter displacement, 228 kilowatts. But why pick the smallest member of the Q family for the upgrade? The Porsche Cayenne cemented the arrival of performance SUVs. Audi has now taken the smallest SUV in its range and produced a real pace monster, the RSQ3. There is also an SQ5, but no RSQ5. That makes the RSQ3 the sportiest SUV in the Audi family. The Swiss Alps are twisty and tricky terrain. Quattro four-wheel drive makes light work of those hairpin bends, while the engine is loads of fun along straight sections. There's been major growth in the compact SUV segment, explains Audi's Thomas Zimmermann. Audi wanted to become the first car maker among its rivals to launch a car like this. The regular Q3 model debuted in 2011. The RS version's 228 kilowatts see it outpower BMW's X1 and the new GLA from Mercedes. It also outstrips them on the price front, however. Prices for the RS Q3 in Germany start at 54,600 euros. The new model shares the features of other RS models, explains the Audi project manager, such as a five-cylinder turbo familiar from the RS3. It's great for everyday use thanks to the functionality of the interior. Then there are its off-road abilities too. But off-road talent seems less important than the view from the high seating position. Even so, the RS is 25 millimeters lower than the regular Q3. It wouldn't be Matis' first choice for tackling off-road territory. All the off-road parts that are normally housed in raw plastic with the regular Q3 now have a paint finish and pick up scratches very easily. This is very much an SUV for the streets. With suspension on the firm side, the RS Q3 does give you that sports car feeling, despite the high center of gravity. The car makes the dash to 100 kilometers an hour in 5.5 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 250. We took a closer look at the new model at an altitude of over 2,000 meters. The revamped front is dominated by the single frame radiator grill with a honeycomb design grid. The wheel wells have flared out a little. The new addition has shiny painted trim everywhere. A roof spoiler optimizes the downforce when you pick up the pace. The RS Q3 may not be your ideal Alpine Escort, but it is more fun tackling curves than driving straight ahead. That's something the great grip on the steering wheel and the precise steering response ensure. Audi claims an official fuel consumption of 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers, a figure that is indeed achievable, but only if you don't fancy much fun at the wheel. Matas found the expedition challenging because you're in a fast car, but only as fast as the driver in front. And after eight hours on the road, it's time to relax.